Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I am here today with Matt, who is a product manager on the Google Analytics team. And he is gonna tell us all about creating new events in the Google Analytics for property user interface. Now this is really exciting to me because this is something that you never would have been able to do with Universal Analytics by creating things within the interface so easily. And so with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Matt and he's gonna tell us all about it. Great, thanks so much, Krista. And I'm excited to be here to tell you all about this new feature that we've been long at, uh, hard at work on. Uh, so we built this in reaction to a lot of customer input that we've heard. And many customers have been asking us to have the ability to, to measure conversions at a very granular level. So let me walk you through a couple of, of things to share about this feature. With granular conversion measurement, what we've now created the ability to do is to create new events for very specific types of behavior on your website or apps, and then mark them as conversions. One of the very handy things about this feature is you can do this without touching any code on your website or your app. And this is incredibly handy as it can take a while to get your developers to have time to be able to update their, their sites and apps, and then also to deploy that to all of the, to either the website or to the, the many clients who are using your apps. Instead, now with this feature, you can make your edits and in real time, immediately, they will start taking effect and impacting your data. So in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tell us what type of an event you wanna look for, and then we're gonna create a brand new event from that that you can mark as a conversion. On the right, you can see an example here of the page view event. And then we're gonna look at a very specific page on your site, acme.com slash subscribe. We're gonna then trigger a brand new subscribe event. And then that new event can be marked as a conversion. So you're marking only the subscribe actions as conversions. A couple of things to note about this feature. This behavior is now live for web streams and it's coming very soon for apps. There are also a couple limits to be aware of. First off, there is a 30 conversions max limit per property. So you'll want to make sure to stay within that. And secondly, for apps users, there's a 500 unique events limit per property. Um, so once again, you'll want to make sure that you're staying well within these limits as you're using this feature. Matt, I love this because this really makes it so much easier now to take an event that was fairly general before and make it very specific down to, in this case, you know, a certain page view that you want to actually mark as a conversion. And I've heard this as a request from a number of users. And so I'm sure they're almost as excited as I am to actually start playing with this. Great. So now what we'd love to do is walk you through a demo of how this feature works. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to do it through a real world example using Greenfield Village as a website that we want to work with. Greenfield Village is a real housing community out in the Midwest, and they are trying to attract more people to take a look at their beautiful homes and want to move on in. So what they would consider a conversion is a user coming to the available home section of their website, taking a look at their homes, getting interested, and eventually uh, move on in. So what we want to do inside of Google Analytics now is measure just activity to the available homes page as a conversion. Great, so let's switch on over. Here you can go ahead and see this. And let's go ahead and navigate to the All Events section. Here we can take a look at all the events that are firing on the website. You can see there's a page view event uh, with a decent amount of traffic that's coming in. Um, we could mark this as a conversion. However, keep in mind that this would be measuring conversions for every single page that's viewed on the website. We don't want to do that. We just want to look at the available homes. So let's create a new event. None have been created yet, so let's create the first one. And now we get a form to create this new event. Let's call it available homes. And this new event is going to trigger whenever we see an event named page view and adding an additional condition here, a page location that contains available homes. Whenever these two conditions are true, this new event will fire. If I wanted, I could make additional changes to the parameters. For this example, I'm just gonna leave it as is. We'll copy all the parameters from the source page view event, uh, but then make no more modifications. Let's go ahead and create it. And now you can see here it is. One last step. Let's go back to the main reporting here in Google Analytics. We want to mark this new event that we've created as a conversion. You'll do that by going to the conversion section, click to create a new conversion event, and type in the name of this new event that we've just created, and it will be marked as a conversion, as you can see here. 
Great. Now, the last thing that we're going to do is we can use analytics real time to make sure that what we just entered is correct. So to do that, we're going to go back to the website and let's simulate a conversion, a user going to the available homes page. Great. And if everything was configured correctly, we'll now see the new available homes event inside of analytics real time. So let's switch on over. And here I'm now in the analytics real time section for this property. And let's scroll on down and take a look at the conversions. Wonderful. And now you can see the available homes event that we just created and marked as a conversion shows up. So this is powerful. And I hope all of you are able to take advantage of this and be able to measure your conversions very granularly. This is so awesome. Thank you, Matt, for showing us how easy it is to now create new events in the Google Analytics for property user interface.